Welcome all to the next video. Today we have a quick Minecraft redstone tutorial for you all and I'm going to be showing you how to build a redstone lever combo lock. Let's get started. Now if you don't really want an explanation of how it works or a tutorial of me showing you how to build it, here's sort of an overview of what the circuit is, how it looks like and what to put where. But if you want to know how it's all working and the correct order to build it in, then feel free to continue watching. Alright, so first things first, you'll want to set up your levers. It's pretty simple to do this. Just find a wall that looks nice and then put some levers on it. The next thing you'll want to do is get some repeaters and put two behind each lever, like so. This way, whenever you hit a lever, it will power that row of repeaters. After that, you'll want to get another uh, line of blocks in front of the repeaters like this, and then throw some redstone torches on those blocks, like so. So now you should have something like this. And what this will do is whenever you hit a lever, it will power the repeaters, which will turn off the torch. Now, let's say you want this lever to be down, but this torch to be on. To do that, it's uh, pretty simple. You just want to make an inverter. To make an inverter, you will want to get rid of this redstone repeater here and then place a torch on the block behind the lever that is down. So now you can see the torch is on. However, when we flip the lever up, it will turn the torch on. Wait a minute. While I messed up the wording there, kind of, you understand what I mean, hopefully. Anyway, moving on. From here, what you want to do is place some redstone down in front of the four torches, and then you want to place a repeater here, a block here, and then a redstone torch there. And this is your power output. We'll, uh, we'll just get a door for an example. Now, the reason for this is, let's say we don't include this in. That means we only need one torch to be on for there to be power. However, if we add this in, it means we need all the torches to be off for there to be power. So let's say we have that down, that down, and that down. There's still two torches on, which is giving it power, so that torch is off. But let's say we turn that one down and turn this one up. The torches are off, which means this one can be on, which means it provides power. And then if we flip one back up, this torch is on again, which means this one's off and there's no longer any power. And that is how to build a simple lever combo lock. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I apologized if I went a bit fast or I didn't really explain that much too well. I'm not really the best at explaining things. I'm more just short of so you... Wait, I can't even speak right today. <laughs> I'm more sort of a just show you how to build things and what the final result is. But thank you for watching anyway, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.